What's up, buds? It's Fly High FPV, and today I have got two treats for you. This is the new T Motor Fetec Alpha G4 HD. That's right, T Motor is now making Fetec Alpha flight controllers. And then this is the P60 amp ESC that is designed to pair with it. It's a D Shot 2400 ESC. Now, I have got these in stock and I'm shipping them out just as fast as possible, but this one. It's not for you. This one's for me. Hang on, let me tear it open. Teeth engaged. Let's see what we got. T-Motor. T-Motor. And there it is. Alpha G4 HD. Let's get real close to this guy for you. Looks like uh, eight motor pads. Uh, I see UART three, UART one, UART five, everything right there. And then on the back side, you've got all the uh, connections. Uh, I believe that this one is um, the connection to the um, HD setup right there. Yeah, it says right there MSP is UART four. And then I believe this four pin is for your receiver. I will not be using that. I direct solder all of my shit. And then these two up here are for two ESCs. That's right. This runs eight motors. Uh, so you can run a single ESC, like a regular five inch quad, or you can run a X8 for uh, like a lifter or something bigger. Uh, USB-C on there. Uh, Built-in regulators on board. This has got a... Um, 2 amp 5 volt regulator and a 2 amp 10 volt regulator to power your HD. Uh, but there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the spec. Looks like it comes with all the regular stuff. Um, gummies. Uh, I like the spacing on these gummies. You know, you've got your regular short gummies, but then you got the big long boys that actually get you some separation. That's super helpful. And it looks like the ESC to motor wires or ESC to flight controller wires in here and another one that you could use for a receiver that I won't be using uh, But yeah, then let's see what's inside of this because this is This is part of the combo And there it is that's gorgeous. I thought it was silver, but it's like silver with like an ice blue tint. Let's get that thing out and take a close look. You see though, like, yeah, it is. So the metal is like blue, ice blue, baby blue, whatever you want to call it, where they've engraved it. And then it's silver on the top. Gorgeous. Lots and lots of FETs. Looks like it's pre-conformal coated, but you know, I don't trust that shit. I will still be putting Brandon's worry-free conformal coating on this thing. But yeah, it looks pretty solid. Wonder how easily this thing's gonna peel off. I'll probably have to do some work to get that thing off. Give me a second. All right, we're going to try it live or on camera, however you want to say it. And what I always like to do is I like to wedge this bastard, wedge a prop right in underneath the edge of it, and then gently pull up from the corner. This is going to fuck up the prop pretty good, but better to fuck up the prop than a $100 ESC. Man, let's see. I'm just going to keep wedging. Trying to gently pull this bastard up. Let's try the back of the blade. Sometimes that works better. Yeah, I'm right under it. Let's pull. Not yet. It's gonna take some more work. Let me get after it. Some people may be asking right now why I'm using a plastic prop to do this and not a metal tool. Uh, because I don't want to damage this flight controller, man. I know I'm putting a lot of pressure on this thing and pulling. 
uh, because I'm going to get this fucking cap off. Once I get the metal heat sink off, I'll be able to conformal coat this properly. You know, you can coat the bottom nice and easily, but this top part, if you don't uh, peel that top off, it's not going to be waterproof. You know, you can see, I don't know if you can, but there is a, a gap. You can even see light through it. And so you either have to fill the entire thing, just pour conformal coating in here and hope that you get coverage, or do what I do, which is pull the fucking top off. All right, I finally got it started. I got this uh, doll prop. It didn't do the trick, piece of shit. Got to use gem fan, that's the trick. This thing is clearly seen some abuse too it's but just wedging it right under the edge and gently 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 prying this bitch up here she comes here she comes oh there it is okay so you got the lid off and there she is. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my propeller to scrape off all this thermal compound, get rid of it, and then uh, I'll be able to apply my conformal coating. All right, so there you have it. Cleaned up and ready to be conformal coated. Uh, I used the, that uh, prop to scrape most of the stuff off, and then I just came back with my fingernail to clean it up, uh, get it all... Pretty darn clean, and now it's ready for that conformal coating. I'll paint the bottom first from edge to edge, including the uh, contact pads over here. And then on the top, I'm going to paint everything except for the pads that I'm going to use here and here and here. And I'll paint all the way around the back of this plug. And it's always a good idea before you do that to just go ahead and get one of these plug wires. And let me just make sure I've got it the right way. and put that plug wire in so that when you do the conformal coating around the outside edge here, there's no way to accidentally get it in there on the pins that you're going to need for later. Uh, but then as soon as you've got it painted on the top, then you're going to take your heat plate and you're going to push it right into that conformal coating so that you squeeze it down and make it as thin as possible on top of those FETs because that conformal coating is going to work just like the heat transfer paste. If there's no air in there, it's going to seal right to it and it's going to transfer the heat right through to the uh, the plate here where the you can let all the heat out. Uh, I'll get mine painted up in just a little bit, but if you need these, T-Motor Alpha Fetec G4HD and the new DSHA 2400 Pacer 60 Amp to go with it, there's only one place in the world you can get these. That's right, flyhighfpv.com has got these now in stock and I'm the only place in the world that's got them. Come and get them from the dude who gets them first. Flyhighfpv.com